Welcome to episode three of the RBT podcast. I'm your host, Bridget Willard, and these are my random thoughts. This cruise life, the vacation life, vacation vibes, beach vibes, pool vibes, all the vibes. And what sent me to the Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady last week, I returned. Uh, What sent me there was burnout. And being like me, I'm, I'm not going to let a lesson not reveal itself. So what was it that I really enjoyed about that cruise? I don't know if it's any cruise that was my first or just the sailor yacht vibe that Virgin Voyages has, where there was all these nooks and crannies and and secret places to be and privacy and places where you could be with other people, physical games like Connect Four, um, root beer floats except it's whiskey, um, places to curl up and read, you know, what is it? that I really enjoyed and how, how can that be part of my daily life? How can I incorporate those things into my current living? You know, there were so many options. There were so many options of things to do. And people asked me, did I have fun on my vacation? And I would say, no, I didn't have fun. I enjoyed it. There were plenty of opportunities to have fun. Uh, The manor was a club vibe that I never saw because it started at 1030 and I was asleep. You know, but what were the things, what were the things that I enjoyed? The first thing is the balcony. I have a balcony here. We had a, we chose a, a sea terrace cabin with a balcony and a hammock And at any point during the day or night, all we did was open our slider and go out to the balcony if we wanted. You know, um, you had that (laughs) clip as it was going about 25 miles per hour, 18 knots or whatever it is at night or whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. You know, even though uh, there were only 600 people on board, they could have doubled it. They could have been full occupancy. And you still had all these places to be alone, to be intimate, or to be with a group. Now, maybe next time I'll go on the grog walk, or maybe next time I'll dance all night in the manor or go to one of the shows. But what is it that I want to incorporate into my life? Again, the balcony. I paid for that balcony, me and my travel partner, and I pay for my balcony here. I love my balcony, so I decided to go to at home, upgrade my cushions um, for my chairs. They were, you know, really, really worn out and frankly, not as thick as I would like them to be at 200 pounds. So I spent a little bit of money upgrading those cushions because I do use my balcony every day. I like to watch the birds. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or even Facebook, you'll hear me talking about being on the balcony, reading. That's another thing. I did a lot of reading. I read one book. I read Warren Lee Nida's newest novel, Pearls Before Swine, like so many Pearls Before Swine. I read that on vacation. That's the fastest I've read any book. Um, Take that time. It doesn't have to be on vacation. That's the lesson. That's the lesson I took today. I, I started this podcast as an online journal and I heard myself speaking it while I was being still and quiet on my balcony this morning, Sunday, April 17th. We fill up so much of our brain with 
sound and noise and distraction and visuals that we don't give ourselves the time to just chill. Another thing is maybe I don't need all the stuff. We had wristlets um, in order to pay for things. So one morning, we didn't bring our phones. We didn't have to carry our phones. We didn't have to record what we saw. We didn't have to document that memory. Um, I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning and took a Benadryl to get back to sleep. But when I was on the cruise and I woke up at 5, I just woke up. And my travel partner woke up and we decided, let's go to the galley and get some coffee and watch the sunrise. Why not? We don't have to get up at 5 a.m. and, you know, go do a workout or yoga. We could. We don't have to lift weights. We could. But take that extra time. Don't resist it. That's the lesson I'm, I'm hearing for myself. Don't, don't resist it. Wake up. Drink your coffee. Watch the sunrise. I have an east-facing balcony. I could easily watch the sunrise. You know, take the time for a sunset. Take the time to be quiet. One of the other things about that specific cruise line, again, I don't know. It's my first cruise. I could not see a clock anywhere. And yet my home is filled with clocks. Analog clocks, digital clocks. There's always something that has to be done, 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 done. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now and you're late. Because right now was three seconds ago. That that idea that we had to be so productive. And I'm the worst. My friends call me, what did you do today? And then I start rattling off a list. Because I, I believe that if I tell them I did this, 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 and this, that they will believe that I'm okay. That I will believe that I'm okay. You know, that... If I told them I sat on my balcony and watched the birds for 20 minutes, they might be like, oh, okay, let's up your psych meds, you know? Um, no, I am enjoying the moments. I did that on vacation. There's no pressure to be anywhere. No, no feeling that if I don't squeeze every single value out of this cruise that I would be losing. No, I'll just see it next time. Yeah, I went kayaking here in San Antonio once. I can always go again. I don't have to squeeze every ounce of fun available to me. And before I was thinking, well, I mean, I guess I'm not really doing anything. I'm not really enjoying my city as if that is my chore. <laughs> you know, that is not my chore. Um, if I want to go kayaking, I can if I want to go to the museum, I can. If I want to sit on my balcony and read, if I want to be in my office on a Sunday evening and journal through this podcast, I can. It's that space. It's the space and releasing myself from the guilt of some level of productivity that I really learned on that vacation. That was episode three. No intro, no outro, no sponsors. See you on the next one.